And our sign language tonight, our sign language interpreter tonight is Damian Evans. Now tonight, the High Court has ordered the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, that is RABC selection panel, to immediately restart the recruitment exercise of a new chair and commissioners to avert a constitutional crisis. Justice Thande Mugure observed that although the reconstitution of the IEBC is a political process, the prolonged stalemate between President William Bruto and opposition leader Raila Odinga over, over the panel has altered the conduct by actually altered the conduct of by-elections. Our senior political affairs reporter Chris Thairo reports. For almost a year now, the IEBC selection panel was forced to stop the recruitment of IEBC chair and six other commissioners in a bid to pave way for dialogue between Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio coalition under the National Dialogue Committee. This after Azimio claimed that the membership of the panel was wanting politically. And now the process is set to resume after the High Court ordered the immediate resumption of the recruitment exercise. According to Justice Dande Mugure, the lack of commissioners at the electoral body has denied the constituents of Banisa their constitutional right of representation after the death of their MP Kulomalim in April last year. The law requires the commission to conduct by elections within 90 days after a seat falls vacant. The judge ruled that ordering for recruitment of IEBC chair and commissioners was justified as the talks are not anchored on the constitution. At the same time, she said the deadline to review constituency boundaries will lapse in April this year, but nothing seems to be moving on the panel side. As the new leader, Raila Odinga, opposed the selection panel, saying that it was skewed in President Ruto's favor. The Kenya Kwanzaa regime is hell bent on proceeding to unilaterally and single handedly reconstitute the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. This comes against the backdrop of the earlier illegal forcing out of four commissioners who disagreed with Mr. Che uh, Fola Chebukati over the presidential election results. A bias and partisan IEBC is being put in place. The Law Society of Kenya had already raised a red flag indicating that the country was staring at a constitutional crisis. Uh, we are playing a case or tempting uh, God uh, in a very, very dangerous way because were anything to happen that would require uh, an election to be conducted, uh, then we would find ourselves in very, very uh, difficult uh, circumstances. Before stopping its work, the selection panel's chairperson Makanda had indicated that they received 925 applications for the commissioner's post before the deadline. Of these, the chairperson's post attracted 25 applications, while the remaining 900 were for the six commissioners' posts. IEBC was left without commissioners after the chairperson of Fulache Bukati, Boya Molu, and Professor Abdi Gulie all retired. The remaining commissioners, Juliana Cherera, Justice Nyangaya, and Francis Wanderi, resigned after President Trudeau appointed a tribunal to investigate their conduct in the contested 2022 presidential elections. Chris Dairo, KTN News, Nairobi. Now, the Teacher Service Commission, that is TSC, is now under immense pressure from uh, teachers.